Hello all and welcome back to Small Grid Only. Today we're picking up right after we visit the BLS Beacon and we're getting ready to scout for more bases, so let's jump into it. Is there anything else we can drop that we really don't need that will save us a bunch of weight? Drop just a few more of those. I don't think there's much else really we can uh, get away with dropping. Our small battery is already fully charged. Is our large battery charged? Too? Nah, it'll recharge in a bit though. Let's keep moving. I think we are just going to leave those people alone. I got quite a bit out of them, progression wise, so I'm not going to take more. We're going to turn that magnetic plate off. I'm a little worried that it was going to grab onto the ship just from the jiggling around and then start flipping us in circles because of the pistons. And we're going to fly this direction. Once again, I didn't pay attention to which way the sun was going. And we really should be flying whatever direction the sun is going, so... We're just going to fly at the sun again. It's going to be our strategy, I guess, for this playthrough. Our ship is just one big solar panel. Oh, okay, there's something here. That's really close. Gosh. Ooh, coming in hot, coming in hot. Let's land. Maybe this is something better. Reward me for not destroying that last person's base, please. All right, let's go. Check this out. Hopefully it doesn't have guns, whatever it is. Oh, okay. A much better base. It has guns, I'm pretty sure. We will spiral. Oh my gosh. It has so many guns, and none of them are shooting me. Holy cow. Well, I don't know what's up with these guns not shooting me, but I'm going to take what I can get, and I'm just going to go straight through right here. Wow. We flew by this a number of times and just happened to not see it. Oh, this, this base is very promising. Oh my gosh, this is good. This is very good. Let's, uh, let's get into that cargo container. Okay. Let's do the thing. Is this person online? This person's not online. Well, what can you do? <laughs> All right. What do we got? Oh my god, we have power cells. I want to take every single power cell that's here. This is so good. I can only take 25 at a time. This is going to be tedious. Look at all this ore. A zillion tubes. Alright. It looks like we're saved. I will... Probably start building a new ship. And we'll just build it straight out of this box. It's going to be tedious flying back and forth a ton of times, but you got to do what you got to do. We're going to move right up to the edge of that cliff, though, uh, so that we can not spend as much time flying back and forth. Uh, and let's explore the rest of the space. See if there's anything else really obvious that we should be thinking about taking. Let's have a look around the front of this base. I do not see how you're supposed to get in or out of this space at all. Unless, okay, there is a door. Hey, there's just an open door in the back. And there are interior turrets, which I'm a lot more worried about. There's a large refinery, which we're gonna have to, oh. <laughs> The turrets don't move. They're just super buggy. 
They just all of a sudden you're dead. It's fine, we're right here now. And the exterior turrets do not shoot at players, so. Or maybe they do? I'm not entirely certain what I'm getting shot by now. But I do have to recover my um, hydrogen tank, regardless of how many bodies I have to throw at this. Oh, yeah, I don't know what's shooting at me, because the turrets aren't turning or making shooting animations. There's one way to solve this problem, guaranteed. It's just, I'm going to be really good friends with the pirates by that time. Maybe they have ones. Maybe the ones on top are shooting at players, or the ones by the door are shooting at players. It's kind of hard to tell. Ah, that's fine. Each trip I take is another regular sized battery. So. Oh, now the turrets are firing at us. That's cool. Good to know that they actually function in the game. Oh, we got a few battery components. Let's start building another ship. Um, do we go for one that's nicer than this, or do we just go for one that works? Let's go for one that can power itself properly. Fine. The sun is setting already. Gosh, that was a short day. No wonder it took me multiple days to recharge here. That's fine though, because we can build a hydrogen engine now. Oh, cleanup. Cleanup actually got the ship I was building. Wow. That's really annoying. Hmm. Maybe we'll just build it straight off of the ship we currently have. Just build it off the side here. Yeah, I guess. Alright, let's get this other ship going. We're going to build it right off of that that post there. So we need maybe 100 of those. Or whatever of those I can get. And where are the interior plates I just took? There we go. So let me place blocks. I feel like this is overly ambitious for my options right now. And I think I will turn this into a rover, too. Ah, oh, gosh. So many things I want to do with this. Really should just be focusing on making a functional ship, not a huge ship. Did I, I didn't get any metal grids, did I? Actually, I haven't checked to see if they have metal grids, because if they don't have metal grids, might actually be uh, in a tougher spot. At least for flying with hydrogen. They don't... Oh. They don't have metal grids, actually. Can't actually build hydrogen thrusters without metal grids. That's a problem. And we can't build atmospheric thrusters without metal grids. Even the small ones. So actually, we can't build this giant ship right now, can we? We're going to have to make a rover. I guess that's okay. It can be a rover to start. As long as it doesn't fall through the planet, it can start as a rover. Now, how do we make this a nice rover? That's a pretty wide wheel base for not being very big wheels. Let's move that in. We'll just have to uh, jack this up to uh, to get the wheels to attach. Maybe like that. Triple wheel in the back, single in the front. Yeah, why not? Now, please tell me I don't need metal grids for this, or for the big wheels. Okay, I definitely do not. Do 
feel like we should have two sets of wheels on the front. So that's exactly what we're going to do. It's becoming daytime again. That's what I like to see. That's a lot of wheels, but yeah, whatever. There we go. Use our pistons to jack this up. Add all of our wheels. And set ourselves back down. Oh. Ooh, that's uh that's too close. These wheels are too close to each other. Can I move these ones back? I can. So that's what I'm gonna do. We've got ten wheels now, instead of eight. It's gonna be the biggest rover I've made. That is small grid, that's for sure. Now I would prefer these supporting beams to be made out of heavy armor, but that's steel plates and or uh, metal grids, and I don't have that, so it's going to be light armor this time. This thing's got some battery power. I do think I'm going to add solar panels to it just uh, for a little insurance. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's keep working on making this look a little bit better though. And we'll slap some blast doors on it for a bumper. It's always good to have. All right, let's fly our ship up on top of this. It's gonna look a little funny, but. That's parked. Let's go land this on top. It's, uh, this piston jitter is really trying to knock me over. Every time I move, it jiggles a whole bunch. Guess we're just parking backwards. That really sinks down the back of this car. And I'm sure makes it ridiculously top heavy, but oh well. Let's unpark and see if we can drive around. All right. Let's go down to that base and we're going to need to use the materials in the box to get our progression further. I think what I'll do is just I'll build these right here. All right. One down. Hooray! That's the last bit of our progression we really needed. We're going to try and leave this base in a condition where they don't actually know it was me. So we're not going to leave behind any materials or any blocks that were built by me. We're not going to maintain ownership of anything either. Alright, let's take a look at our progression. We can build a light, we can do that. These are all things that we can do with the materials we have. Decoy block, we need, we actually do need to make a Gatling turret, so. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna build one out here. We'll just take this because we can't leave it here. I'll just have to deal with the fact that their base has a hole in it. And let's get inside. Our light back on that we are missing. I don't want to grind too many blocks, but gotta do a couple. Oh, this one's underneath that still. Here's the cryo. Cryo has three medical components. As long as they have a way to respawn here, I don't mind taking their cryo. They can just respawn. It's fine. But if they're in the cryo, I'd almost feel bad. Okay, they have a way to respawn. Oh, let's not let those see us. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and take their, their cryo down. This will give us the medical components we need to make our second survival kit. 
We'll just finish this off right away. Last thing I think we really want to do is we want to take as many battery components and things that we can't build as possible. Losing that hydrogen tank was a pretty big hit because now I can't fly around much. I might actually raid this person's base even more just to try and find one of those. So we're going to take their uh, generators over real quick. I got two generators here and they have an easy place for me to do it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That's what I want to see. Glad I thought to check these. They don't have any more. But this is like the mother load. Also, this is a large storage container. Ooh. Let's see what's How am I hitting that? Back. Let's see what's in this large storage. Alright. Um I'm gonna take all this. I'll take that. We need those, but we can't fit them, so we'll leave them. Ooh, we're gonna come back for all these medical components. It's gonna take a while, it's gonna take a lot of walking, but it's gonna be worth it in the end. I should have, I didn't realize they had another thing over here. I wouldn't have broken that cryo if I knew it, if this was over here. All right, so now we need to take more battery components so that I have at least 200 of them. That's 10 batteries and larger batteries. Ow. Ow. <laughs> okay, that time I just hit the ground because I forgot to turn my inertial dampener back on. Of all times, I don't know how I didn't die that time. Yeah, we actually got quite a few batteries here. Let's go for something else. Tubes. As many big tubes as we can, and then small tubes. We're going to take that metal grid, because every metal grid is a small thruster. So that's eight small thrusters. We'll take the rest of that that's in this container. Oops, the daisies. There goes my bag. Hello. Hello. Oh, there we go. That's not fair. Can't shoot me while I'm lagging. What? I need to go get those materials now. Nice. I made a basket. Ah, we got all the tubes. Thank goodness. That took forever. Ah, oh, I'm exhausted from flying back and forth and dying. In the end, it's going to be worth it though. Ah, it's, it's full finally. Oh, well, I filled up all of my inventories with goodies, mostly tubes and um, a lot of battery components, too. We got 274 power cells. We got 15 medical components, plus another three that we used right away. We got a ton of tubes. Got more up here, too. Some more tubes, tubes, tubes. Pretty dang good. Um... I think we even have more than that. Yeah, here's some more. Some more tubes. We pretty much filled every single container. Actually, we did. We filled every single container. Unfortunately, the one thing we really are lacking is metal grids. We only have eight metal grids. Oh, no, we have 32 in there. Okay. 
Those are probably from turrets. And we have a little bit of Gatling ammo. I would like to have more Gatling ammo. The sun is setting though. We need to drive a ways and then get down onto the lake and drill for a whole, whole bunch of this stuff. Um, a bunch of ice and then we can hydrogen, turn that to hydrogen, run our hydrogen engines, charge our batteries and our batteries can keep us powered for a good long time hopefully. I don't like how much this is bouncing around. So as much as I like this idea and we'll probably bring it back and use it again in the future, I think it's very unstable and I would like these ships not to explode. Very much so. So we're going to get rid of it. This poor crane didn't even last an episode. Got used once. I didn't think to grab any glass either. I'm going to go see if he has glass. Ah, they do have tons of glass. I am going to take some. Dang it. Ah! Woo, six hit points. Let's do this. I'll heal up. Actually try and die as little as possible. I'm not succeeding at that very well, but I'm trying. We're going to patch this up while I'm thinking about it, because the lightning struck here before, and we don't, we don't like that. Also, while I'm thinking about it, we're going to add a decoy block. I didn't think radio components were going to be that useful, but specifically because of decoy blocks, I'm changing my mind, and I might go pillage a few more of those. Because the decoy blocks are going to get struck by lightning, and then they're going to break. And I'll lose my components, and eventually I'll need more. Let's uh, drive. I'm going to drive away from the bases that I was just at. I don't particularly want them finding me. go at a relatively fast pace. I don't have all day for this. I gotta remember I'm tall. I'm used to being really low to the ground in a rover. Looks like it's handling fairly well though. Amazingly, I don't feel like I'm going to tip. Let's see uh, if we slam the brakes. Ah, very comfortable. Very comfortable. Could probably add more power to the wheels too, so I can pick up speed faster. Maybe not though. dead for some reason. Nothing's damaged. Nothing looks damaged. We are using some power though. With all these wheels. A lot less than flying if we were to fly this much weight. But we're still using some power. I don't think I bottomed out, did I? Got a little air there. Ooh. Okay. I think I hit that tree. Even though I'm nowhere near the tree yet, I think that's what happened there. I think I hit the tree. I must be offset just a little bit from where it's displaying me. Park here for a second. I want to turn on the GPS location of that last base so that I know when I'm good and far from it. We'll probably go to the other end of this lake, at least. 
Yeah, I'm running into these trees. It's really weird. Like, I shouldn't be hitting them, but I'm hitting them. And then I continue going straight, and I go right by them. I think this is as good a spot as any to try and get down onto the lake. So we're going to just do that. Easy. Easy. And because we have gyroscopes, we can pretty much just zoom, I think. Let's get going up to full speed. This is a massive lake. I think I'd like to go faster. Turn it up just a little bit to 200. Alright, we're going to get back on the land here. Do it right on the end. And I could go slowly, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'll just go fast. Well, 30 meters per second. It's not super fast, but. It's not particularly slow either with this top heavy setup. I'm trying to give these trees a wide berth so that I don't hit them when I shouldn't be hitting them. I think the bushes are fine. We can go right through those. I'm going to park under a tree as best I can. There we go. Hiding. Battery's all on. Everything else is good. Still don't have a turret. Um, I don't think a turret's honestly going to help us because the turrets don't help them. So if someone's determined to get our ship Turret's going to do nothing about it. We will add turrets eventually, but not just yet. Alright, I think that's going to be all for this episode. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one.